Good day learners! Are you ready to have fun with math? How do you feel today? I hope you are all okay. I am your teacher Anne and let's make learning more fun. Before we start, here are some reminders to keep in mind. Number 1. Stay alert and focus the video lesson. Number 2. Prepare your pen and paper for your answer sheets. Number 3. Sit back and relax as you enjoy our learning for today. Good day learners! For this video lesson, I will be guiding you in the week 5 lesson for the 4th quarter, which is all about solving real-life problems involving right triangles using trigonometric ratios. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve real-life problems involving right triangles using the trigonometric ratios, use concept of trigonometric ratios and angle of elevation and angle of depression to solve problems, and solve real-life problems involving right triangles with accuracy. In our previous video lesson, you have learned about the six trigonometric ratios and angles of elevation and depression. So that without further ado, let's solve real-life problems involving right triangles using the trigonometric ratios. Now, let's enumerate the systematic steps in solving real-life problems, which is an effective method of solving problems. First, draw a sketch of the problem or the situation. Second, label the known and unknown sides and angles. Third, identify the applicable trigonometric ratio to be used in solving the problem. Fourth, solve for the unknown and supply the proper unit to the final answer. And fifth, check if necessary. Let's proceed to our first example. For the first step, or for the first example, a ladder 8 meters long leans against the wall of a building. If the foot of the ladder makes an angle of 68 degrees against the ground, how far is the base of the ladder from the wall to the nearest meters? For the first step, it is better to illustrate the problem and determine the given and what is asked in the problem. For the given, we have 8 meters as the length of the ladder, 68 degrees as the angle made by the ladder with the ground. And what is asked is how far is the base of the ladder from the wall. For the representation, let D be the distance of the base of the ladder from the wall. From the illustration based on the given values, which among the three primary trigonometric ratios are we going to use? Perfect! Since we have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, we can use the cosine ratio. What is the equation or formula to be used? Very good! The formula that we are going to use to solve for the distance from the base of the ladder to the wall is cosine theta which is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse. For the solution, we substitute the data with 68 degrees, the adjacent side with D and the hypotenuse as 8 meters. By cross multiplication, we have now D equals 8 multiplied by cosine 68 degrees. With the use of calculator, we're going to type. So we have 8 cosine 68 and close parentheses. Click equal and we found that D is equal to 2.99 or 3 meters when rounded off to the nearest whole number. Can you follow? I hope so. But we are not yet done. Let's check first our answer to be sure. Get the original equation and substitute the value of D that we find which is 3 meters. Cosine 68 degrees is equal to 0.375 which is the same as the quotient of 3 and 8 as 0.375. Since the two sides of the equation are already equal, we are now sure of our answer. And write our conclusion which is, Therefore, the distance is approximately 3 meters. Can you follow? Very good. Let us now proceed to problem number 2. 
Adrian is flying a kite. He is holding the end of the string at the distance of 1.5 meters above the ground. If the string is 20 meters long and makes an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal, how high is the kite above the ground to the nearest hundreds? For the first step, let us look at the illustration and we will consider the following as given. 1.5 meters is the distance the string is held from the ground. 20 meters is the length of the string of the kite. And 40 degrees is the angle formed with the horizontal and the string. What is asked is how high is the kite above the ground? But, we must first look for the value of x, which is represent the height of the kite from the where it is held. Let h be the height of the kite from the ground, which is x plus 1.5. Now, with the given values, what do you think is the primary trigonometric ratio that you are going to use to solve the problem? Perfect! Since we have the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we are going to use the sine ratio. What is the equation or formula to be used? Very good! The formula to use is sine theta equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. For our solution, let us now substitute the given values to the formula. We have sine 40 degrees is equal to x over 20 meters. Can you follow? Very good. To get the value of x, apply cross multiplication. We have x is equal to 20 meters times sine 40 degrees. Now, using your calculator, just type 20 sine 40 close parenthesis and press equal and we will get the answer 12.86 meters to find the height of the kite above the ground simply add 12.86 meters to 1.5 meters and the total height is 14.36 meters do the checking by substituting the values found and the given in the original equation do the indicated operations and see that the two sides of the equations are equal and write our conclusion which is therefore the kite is approximately 14.36 meters above the ground did you get it right? Great! Alright, I think you gained a lot of skills now to solve problems involving right triangles using trigonometric ratios. To summarize our lesson, let us enumerate again the steps in solving real-life problems involving right triangles using the trigonometric ratios. First, draw a sketch of the problem or situation. Second, label the known and unknown sides and angles. Third, identify the applicable trigonometric ratio to be used in solving the problem. Fourth, solve for the unknown and supply the proper unit to the final answer. And fifth, check if necessary. Great job, grade 9 learners! There you have it. I hope you have learned a lot from our discussion about solving problems involving right triangles using the trigonometric ratios. Until next time, stay safe and God bless everyone.